here I'm holding a tamper resistant uh, receptacle and I would like to go ahead and show you the uh, the screw connections on here and the different ways to wire up this here receptacle. On the back of this receptacle it has a wire gauge on here and if you look real close it will show you how much wire insulation to strip off of the wire. You notice that these two screws are silver, these two screws are gold, and this screw is uh, green. The green screw is for the ground wire. If you do not have a ground wire on the electrical circuit to hook up to this receptacle, you're installing the wrong receptacle. This receptacle requires a ground wire. It will work without it, but it's not correct. The gold color screws are for the incoming power. The power comes in and then the power goes out to the next uh, receptacle on the circuit. The silver screws, the white screws, they're for the neutral wires. Okay, One wire goes underneath this screw and then the other wire goes to this screw if you have two whites and it goes on to the next outlet. That's one method of wiring uh, this here receptacle underneath the screw tension. If you notice on the back of this receptacle it has four little holes and if you wanted to you can actually strip the wire insulation off like we have here and instead of wrapping the wire around the screw you can push the wire in the back of the receptacle just like this. This is acceptable uh, wiring method. It is not uh, really recommended to wire it like this. Uh, from our experience, uh, we come into homes and find outlets overheated. We find circuits that go down. And usually it's because of this type of wiring method. This is wire is just held in place with spring tension. And over a period of time, because of the heat and electricity, the spring becomes weak and then the connection becomes loose and then heat gets generated here and usually burns up the wiring, burns up the receptacle, sometimes even causes a fire. So this is not the preferred method on how to wire up a receptacle. What we like to do here at Safeway Electric is we like to take the wire, we like to strip off the insulation just enough to get a nice loop like this. On the white wire, the black wire and also the ground wire. And I'll use this here uh, receptacle to demonstrate how to do it. The loop always goes in the direction that you're going to tighten the screw. And then the black wire, the same thing, goes around the screw just like that. Bring the wire, the, the loop nice and tight, close it up, tighten it down, I like to go ahead and screw the rest of these screws all the way in just so it looks nice and clean. And the most important wire is this ground wire. Let's be sure to always hook up the ground wire, make sure it's nice and tight. Wrap the wire around the screw just like you did on the power wire and the neutral, neutral wire. And go ahead and tighten that down properly all the way, nice and tight. So this is what it will look like when you're done with it. These wires are under screw tension. They're much tighter, much more reliable, considered much more safe than using the back stab lock of this here receptacle. And that's how you replace your uh, receptacles uh, inside your home. Now, for some reason, if this doesn't fix the problem, most likely you have a problem on the electrical circuit. Uh, the connection uh, is probably broken or burnt somewhere or you got a device somewhere uh, where it's broken or burnt. So. The best thing to do is always call an electrician, uh, a licensed electrician, a certified electrician who knows what's going on. Uh, it looks simple to replace a, an outlet or a light switch, but there's so many home fires every year uh, due to poor workmanship. And uh, so 
you know, really, you know, let the electrician do the electrical work and and let the uh, the handyman do his work, and uh, you should be good. So, anyway, this is how you replace a receptacle.